Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. Uh, so it turns out this game's save system is a little bit weird, um, which I guess we'll just have to put up with for the moment. I think the devs are going to change it. Um, but for now, you need some kind of potion to save, which I don't have. Um, so we're back at the start of this little quest line here, uh, which I guess does give us another chance at convincing the guy to give us the hammer and nails and stuff that we wanted and then another chance to pick the lock on his thing and hopefully we can just skip all the cutscenes hello whatever your name is Kunesh God be with you Kunesh okay skip 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 uh yes my father skip 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 pay for the tools at least you know you okay um can threaten him. The speech thing didn't work super well last time, um, but our threateningness is not better. Well, if he's gonna pick a fight with us anyways, let's threaten him. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me, would you? You son of a whore. How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. I love to go. Oh boy. Fist fight time again. Okay, let's take a quick look at this. Um Q to block. Integrator shows roughly how much health Oh, the purple bar shows how much health the opponent has. Interesting. Okay. Um, Alright, so we got all that. And we also probably want to be using the faster attacks. Rather than the, the slow ones. I think we should be saving the slow ones for when we have an opening to use them. Kick him. Nope, oh, I missed. That'll learn ya. Did, did I hit him? I think I hit him. Oh, he grabbed me. Okay, that's... A thing you can do. I, his health bar doesn't seem to be moving a whole lot. Go ahead. I don't know what that thing is that he's doing, but it's working, and I wish I knew how to do it. Ow. He is definitely better at fighting than we are. Although we are hitting him. I hope we get to learn we learn how to do that move at some point. We get the knees, have you? And I cannot quite land a kick out. Okay. Well, our stamina is out, which is bad. So when our stamina runs out, we need to be defensive and wait for it to come back or we'll start actually, you know. Or we'll actually start suffering injuries. Okay. I don't know what he's doing, but it's working for him, I think. I honestly can't tell how we're doing. We're getting punched a lot, but our health doesn't seem to be going down all that much. He keeps doing that, though. What is that move? How do I do it? Oh. 
Is this like a supposed to lose fight or something? Because his health bar doesn't seem to be decreasing at all. But we're leveling up at least. Okay, he just keeps grabbing me and punt kicking me in the face. Which I'm not entirely sure how to deal with. Okay, I think his health bar is getting a little bit lower. He's just got a lot of health. Come I guess because we're just punching him repeatedly instead of actually doing any, like, damage. Ah, ah, ah. Our health bar is also going down. Quite a bit. Okay, we need to- I need to stop throwing multiple punches like that when our stamina is really low. Oh, it injured me. What- what is that thing he keeps doing? How do I- how do I not let that happen to me? This is the important question here, I guess. Yeah, see, he just does it. And it seems to go through my guard as well. I'm not entirely sure we're supposed to win this fight. Because he is just much better at everything than I am. And I don't think that's just because I'm new to this game. I think it's just because our character is bad at fighting. Yeah, there's that again. See, I can hit him? But sometimes he just does that, like, counter thing. Yeah, like that. Which I can't block or avoid in any meaningful way, as far as I can see. There we go. Oh, okay, and then he just grabbed my arm. Oh, my stamina goes down when I get injured, too. Ow. Okay. I'm over here. Okay, just keep punching him in the face repeatedly. I think even when he out blocks, he still takes a bit of damage. So we just gotta keep whacking him in the face and letting him grab us and throw us around the place. So we are chumps. Oh, I should actually properly lock on him, shouldn't I? Kick him in the knees. That'll show him. Ow. Why is block not working? Okay. Eh. Stop doing that. It's rude. Okay. Yeah, but. Whoa. Okay. Enough. Enough. I give up. Take what you want. It's not much. But it's all I have. You understand? Alright. Um, we won. I guess. Somehow. Anyways, let's go get all the stuff we need. Yeah, okay, I'm injured. We have very little health right now. I'd like my axe back, please. Thank you. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, all the other stuff is inside. Right, and then we should probably go all talk right. to our mom and see if we can Boy, get fixed up. Oh, he's mad at us now. Well, sucks to be him. He should get better at fighting. And not have, you know, magical saving and loading powers. Yes, I will take these two things. Alright, and now we're supposed to sell these? Oh, we should go get healed first. So we do need to buy things from the charcoal burner. Can we actually do that? Because I don't think we have any money. I can rob him. I don't want to rob him. I want to... Okay, there. Wait. Where's the actual charcoal burner? I guess I just talked to you?
God be with you. Let's talk trade. Yeah, that sounds right. I need charcoal. Can I sell things to you? I also have no money. Uh, oh, here we go. Sell. Okay, good. So if I sell Gunesh's axe and his hammer and his nails, I will get that. And with that, we can buy... How much coal did I need? Ten? And I will get point four money. Well, I mean, we need it, so hopefully point four is enough for us to get some ale. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. How do I finish the trade? Oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, let's try haggling. I'd like to discuss the price. I. Okay. Uh, haggling works both ways whether you want to buy cheap or sell dear. You select the amount you want to pay or get um, W and S and confirm with E. The trader will then respond to your offer. If the answer is refusal, he or she will make a counteroffer and wait for your response. If the slider can't be moved in one direction or the other, it means either you or the trader does not have enough money. Dragging out the haggling with one or another will gradually... With one offer after another, we'll gradually try the trader's patience, eventually they'll drop the hanging community. You can see how close they're getting to the, that point from the trader icon below the bar. The more gold there is in the background, the closer the trader is to dropping the haggling. A very successful bout of haggling lowers your reputation with the trader. Alright. Uh, so. Okay. So we're currently getting point four. Yeah, let's try and get point six instead. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Huzzah, we haggled. I'd love to get something to eat. I'm starting to get hungry. Oh my god, Henry, you're always hungry. Okay, so I think this is the sword instructor hey, guy. Do you want to learn something? Combat Master no, Banyak. I don't think so. Thanks. What the hell's See up with your yourself. shirt? Alright, whatever. Hell, have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? Oh, it was nothing. Except Mother noticed and had a word or two to say about it. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place and I need to know how to protect myself. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Let's do it. Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. I feel quite hungry. Should I just follow him? How far is he going? I guess we'll just follow him. Oh, he's got a nice sword. Uh, I can't help but notice that some of those buildings seem to be on fire. A lot of things seem to be on fire. Is that just supposed to be, like, normal house smoke? I guess. There's smoke coming out of our chimney. That seems excessive, though. Anyways, hello. So, can we get started? Sure, let's do it. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. Good deal, I guess. Do I have a sword? Oh, I do have a sword. Very well. Let's start with the basics. Keep moving. Your life depends on it. Hey, look, a sword moves as I change uh, all right, all position right. I'm attacking from. Now try to hit me. Whoop. You have to put your weight into your attack. If you just fiddle around, you'll get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. Good call. All right. Wah. Wah. Follow up. Follow up again. Follow up a third time. Continue following up. The we good? The point of the blade is for stabbing. Tried a few times. Okay, so the. Alright, so I can't stab from the side or under directions. I can only stab the top and the middle. I can fend off without a sweat. But if you chain your strikes, I'll have a much harder time. As soon as you land one blow, follow it with another. Okay. 
Uh, start a new attack as soon as the previous attack ends. You can change the attack zone or just chain the strikes one after another. Press left mouse button or right mouse button right after your sword hits your opponent. Okay? Nope, I'm not timing that quite right, I don't think. Let's let our stamina recharge a bit. I feel like we might actually need to eat something. I don't think Henry's just being a pansy about it. There you go. Some words of wisdom from our mercenary friend here. Well, last goal, we need to go get some ale from the tavern, which hopefully we can do with our remaining, uh, money. If not, um, maybe we can take up banditry? God save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Oh, let's be sweet. Your beauty, of course. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? Uh, we need ale. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual? Aye. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's on me today. <laughs> you can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Vanya. I suppose. He is a man who makes his coin robbing honest wayfarers. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. Hal, I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, savior your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. I feel quite hungry. Hey, yeah. that's the item that we need to save with. Cool. Now we have some of those. Uh, probably not worth using right now. I hope. I'm not actually sure when our last auto save was. Can we check? Load game. Uh, oh, good. It's date and time. That's like 20 minutes ago. Alright, we should... You know, we'll just go finish up this quest. I'm sure it'll be fine. Hello, father. Uh, oh, we can ask him about Kuttenberg. Sure, why not? What did you actually do in Kuttenberg? Oh, all sorts. You had to be able to put your hand to anything if you wanted to make a living. But I was never far from iron. I'd like to see Kuttenberg sometime. I'll take you there one day, never fear. It's a beautiful city. But in the end, you'll learn the best places here by the Sasso. We've kind nobles, fertile land, and plenty of everything. And do you know Sir Radziv well? We've known each other long enough. All right. About time. Have you got everything I wanted? Yes, I have. Oh, uh, start forging. Sure. I have charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. We can start. Good job. Let's have it then, son. Well done. Right. Let's see what kind of job the master in Sasal did for us. Look at that lad. That's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? 
Damned if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Rudzig ordered it. Oh, this will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have you got the charcoal? Good. Then fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, I heard some gossip about what happened to Deutsch. I expect you know something about it. Maybe. Maybe? Someone threw dung at Deutsch's freshly lime-washed house, maybe. And maybe those cronies of yours had something to do with it. That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. Oh, got what he deserved, did he? Look, I don't know if you're mixed up in this or if it's just those friends of yours. It's all the same to me. But I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody. Least of all the king. Do you understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. Well, so you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of the king? Does that boy ever listen to a word I say? So Deutsch spouts with me. So what? You might win a fight with violence, but you'll never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth, and not your fists. The furnace is ready. Right, we'll do the grip. I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. Do it. Good. Once more. That's it. Done. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague and a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau and founded a university, and all without a war. He knew how to rule. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose like is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? Do you think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. <laughs> it's magnificent. Indeed it is. The Lord be with you. My father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. 
Henry, are you alright? <laughs> I think she's laughing at us because our clothes are all beat up. Okay. Well, that was a good introduction to medieval blacksmithing. Um, how are we looking on save games here? No. Bring those nails and don't. All right. Well, let's go grab the nails then. Oh, where are they? Okay, it's just pointing me to Teresa, not the nails. I, he said they were in the living room, right? Hang on. Uh. I easily found the nails. What? Oh, I already have the nails? I'm thoroughly confused now. Anyways, here are some nails, lady. Here are those nails you wanted. Thanks. So, how's Bianca? Um, she's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Fine lass, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsmith. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skills, though. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a Let commoner? Then try it. You still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Svan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. They certainly will. Once it's ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, Sir Isfah. Have a safe journey to Sasau. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. <laughs> that was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it like Sir Radzik said? Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, son? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword, and then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. You talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in scallets here beneath the linden tree and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. 
But first, I'd like to see the world. Meet new people. Meet them or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. <laughs> then you've no need to learn swordplay. The messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Take the sword, go into the house, and grab anything else important from the trunk. Go to the castle. Hurry! And what about you? Your mother is in the village. I'll fetch her and we'll follow right behind. I'll go with you. No! You'll do what I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Redzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of you. He owes me. Okay, well, um, that was unfortunate and completely unexpected, but this is also where I'm gonna have to call it for to- oh, hello, you're armed. Okay, I don't care, the game just saved, so, uh, we're just gonna call it there. 
Anyways, that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.